What's up everyone, this is Ali Talkers Tech, and today I'm going to be showing you this awesome Siri shortcut that acts like Control Center. Let's get started. So this Siri shortcut packs so much functionality into your iPhone and can pretty much replace Control Center on your iPhone. So the first shortcut I want to go over is basically like a Control Center, but it's real basic. You turn on and off Wi-Fi, Bluetooth any sort of toggle like that, but the next one is so complex. This is, I guess, more of a shortcut within shortcuts. So you tap on it and it gives you a list of things you want to change. So for example, if you just want to change your music, it has a bunch of music settings, so it'll open up that and you can choose, I guess, an album or a playlist from the home screen on your iOS device, or you can just change the volume. Now. I'm assuming as soon as you're at this point, the shortcut wouldn't really make sense, but there are points where it would make sense. For example, if you do want to run a shortcut, you can go ahead and open up another shortcut that isn't listed on the shortcuts widget panel because I do know that sometimes some shortcuts do not show up on the widget panel. So that's why the shortcut is great because you can open up so many other shortcuts just by using the shortcut. It can also show you the direction home so that way you don't have to type it into Google. You will have to preset it and everything. You can also get some really cool information like alarms, today at Apple, some news from Bloomberg or Apple Insider, and you can go ahead and change them inside of the shortcut settings as well. So overall just packed with tons of features. So you saw earlier that I tapped on the map one and you will need to type in your postal code and it, every time you tap on the take me home one, it'll send you to those directions. Now I just want to give credit to this person on the screen right now. You can see it's in the shortcut comment section because they're the creator of this. I didn't create this. I found it on the internet. So go ahead and follow them. But if you scroll down, this is a pretty large shortcut. So they took a ton of time to do this. So overall, the reason I don't really want to go over it is because you don't really need to change anything in the shortcut. Everything's pretty much preset, which is why it's a great shortcut to replace control center or at least add on to control center so yeah that is about it for today thank you so much for watching hopefully you guys do enjoy and as always peace